what do kitchen utensils have to do with today's video? I'm going to show you. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and I want to welcome you here to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I also want to thank Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be bringing you all inside Dollar Tree with me today. I'm going to show you some unexpected items that you can pick up for, of course, only a dollar. And we're going to add some extra special touches to them to make them look much more high end. So let's dive right into this very first $1 gift idea. So the very first project is reindeer food. This would make a great gift for a little one or a big class full of kiddos because it's very inexpensive to make. I'm starting with this glass bottle that is from Dollar Tree, obviously. Inside it started with some seashells, so I dumped those out, put them in a little baggie so I can use them for another project. I also removed the label and then they had a little bit of raffia around the top that I took off, so that way we start with a clean bottle. Now, of course, we need to make our reindeer food first. So I have some oats and I also have some red and green glitter to mix in there together. Because if you're new to the reindeer food tradition, basically you sprinkle this on your front lawn so that Santa and the reindeer can find your home on Christmas Eve. It's just a fun tradition and it's so easy to make and it makes the cutest little gift. So what I've done is I put my bottle on a little plate because this is going to get a little bit messy as we funnel some of the items into our empty glass bottle. So at this point, you can leave it like it is, even add a little bit of ribbon to the top and it's ready to go. Or we can add a extra special touch to it by adding a tag to the front that says reindeer food, which I love the idea of this because it's something you can use year after year. This is a metal tag from Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, so really, really affordable. And then I have this beautiful shimmer red vinyl. My friend Jennifer over at Little Bit of Common Crazy sent me this for a mystery box challenge and it looked so cute on the Santa's mug holder that I made with it. I'll put that video up in the iCards if you wanna see how I made that, but I thought it'd be so pretty and add a little bit of extra magical touch to this tag. So let's head on into our Cricut design space and I'll show you how I created this. Now we're gonna keep this super duper simple. We're just going to use the text feature within Cricut Design Space and type out the words Official North Pole first. I turn these into the font chalkboard. Then the next set of font, you'll type in reindeer food. And I use the font Brighton Spring for this. And then you'll just scale it down so that it will fit within the space on your metal tag. Then I'm going to be featuring my Cricut Explore 3 for this video. If you don't have one of these, they are super fun and they have you creating right out of the box. So don't be scared of them. They are so easy to use. I'm also putting a piece of scrap shimmer vinyl down onto a Cricut mat and inserting that into my machine. I selected the shimmer vinyl option within my Cricut design space, pressed that play button and it does all the work for you. It does all the cutting. And once it's complete, you can take it out of your machine and bring it over and start weeding out all that excess vinyl that you don't want on your metal tag. Now go ahead and get out one of your metal tags. We're going to apply this vinyl onto the top of it using some transfer tape. You just lay that transfer tape right on top of your vinyl decal, rub over it with a squeegee, and then you'll remove that transfer tape with the vinyl sticking to it away from the paper backing. Lay that decal onto your piece, in this case, the metal tag. Press firmly over that with your squeegee again and remove that transfer tape off the top. And you're left with a beautiful transfer design that looks super professional. We're also gonna be adding this with a little piece of ribbon to the top of our reindeer food bottle. This is such a fun tradition that our family does every year right alongside our milk and cookies for Santa Claus. If your family does too, let me know down in the comments below. 
Up next, we're gonna work on those kitchen utensils that I mentioned at the beginning of this video. If you have someone in your family or as a friend that loves to cook and bake, this will be perfect for them. I just typed out Cheryl's Kitchen, of course, insert the name you wish, and I'm duplicating that three times because I have three utensils I want to personalize. I'm also going to be using Smart Vinyl for the personalization. The cool thing about Smart Vinyl is you don't have to use a mat with the Explore 3. So I have a little docking station that is optional. You don't have to have it, but it has a cool built-in little trimmer on it. Once I have my design created and my vinyl ready to go, I'm choosing, I wanna cut it without a mat and I'm choosing Smart Vinyl Permanent before sending it over to my machine to do all the cutting. Once it's done cutting, then I can remove that and I use that attached trimmer to cut it off. This is just a nice extra little bonus. If you are in the business for creating quick crafts, this will make it a little bit quicker for you too. I will have all the supplies I'm featuring in today's video linked down in the description box below, so make sure to check that out if you are looking for anything special. Going ahead here and removing all that excess vinyl again, applying a transfer tape on top of that, and then applying each one of those decals onto the handles of the utensils. I love the way these decals turn inexpensive items, even things from Dollar Tree, into ones that look super professional and high-end and custom. This next project, I'm gonna feature an item that's not from Dollar Tree, but it costs less than a dollar, but if you'd like to stick with Dollar Tree products, you can replace it with these clear plastic ornaments from Dollar Tree instead. This next idea you can take and you can also use them for necklaces and also keychains. So keep that in mind as I'm showing you how to make these custom ornaments. This is a acrylic ornament from Hobby Lobby. It was only $4.99 for a pack of eight of them, but I also got them when they were 50% off. So I got eight ornaments for only $2.50. I'm going to show you how to take simple, plain, basic ornaments and make them fabulous. So when you get these ornaments, they look like they're frosted, but they actually just have a film on the front and back side that you want to peel off and remove. When you're done with that, you will be left with a gorgeous clear acrylic ornament, which is what we want. We're gonna pick some different colors of acrylic paint here. I'm making one for each one of my kiddos, so I picked their favorite colors as the background. You'll just take a paintbrush and paint on sort of sloppily. I mean, I'm not sure if that's a word or not, but it's just, we're giving it sort of a watercolor, water brushed look. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you wanted to cover the whole background, you absolutely can. But I just kind of gave this a little bit more of a fun and whimsical look, just sort of brushing it on randomly and making sure to cover quite a bit of the background because we're going to add a decal onto the front of these. And the bigger space that we paint, the more room we have for a decal. So you can see here, I did go ahead and do two coats of the acrylic paint to make sure they were pretty solid colors. We're going to flip these over and we're going to add a decal to the front side. I did go ahead and measure. Mine are about three-ish size ornaments, but I'm only making my decals about two inches long. Here you can see I typed in their names and I'm going to separate these. So you can see I have two at the top and one towards the middle. The reason I'm doing that is because one ornament I'm going to give a black color to and the other one I'm going to make into a white. So I separated them, that way they cut at the same time and that saves me a little time in the long run. So I went ahead and fed that into my machine and let it do its work.
Then you'll go ahead and apply your decals to the center of each ornament, just like you did with the utensils and metal tag. You can find these fancy metal ornament hooks at Walmart for only 98 cents and you can just hook those right onto your ornaments. You can even make your own using some heavy gauge wire too. I was so excited to see Dollar Tree has their Buffalo Check fleece scarfs again this year. Grab them up if you find them. I'm sure they're not going to last long. But I did go ahead and grab this gorgeous burgundy fleece scarf. It just looks so fancy and high end to me. We're going to even make it more fancy by adding a monogram to the front. So what I'm doing is just I typed out my initials and then sized them down and then decided to change the font. This is a monogram font and then just arranged them so they were centered and kind of interlocking. I welded them together. We're gonna use smart iron-on material for this. So this again is a material that you don't have to have a mat for. You wanna make sure you insert this with the shiny side down and the matte side up. Another thing is you have to make sure that you mirror your image before you send it over to your machine because basically we're cutting on the back side of this material. You're also going to be able to choose what material you're using within Cricut Design Space. I'm using the glitter iron on, so I selected that. It sends all the appropriate settings right to your machine so you don't have to do anything. Just make sure it goes in the machine, hit play, it does the work, and then you can trim it off to size. And this is such a fun process to apply heat transfer vinyl to fabric. You're gonna heat up your fabric for about 10 seconds before applying your design on top. I also like to lay a flour sack towel down before applying my easy press. I have it set to 330 degrees for 30 seconds. It'll count down. Once that first 30 seconds is finished, you'll flip it over and reapply the heat press for another 30 seconds. Let your design completely cool before coming in and removing that clear plastic top. And you'll see that beautiful glitter design just taking our scarf up a whole nother notch. Such a beautiful gift to give this Christmas season. Speaking of flower sack towels, you can even find those at Dollar Tree. And we're gonna turn this one into one that is personalized and also looks like it came from a high-end boutique. We're gonna use our Smart Iron-On again for this, which means we don't need a cutting mat, which made this a super quick project. I'm weeding out all the parts that I don't want. Same process as a scarf. We're gonna heat up our fabric first for 10 seconds, press it for 30 seconds, flip it over to the right, through the wrong side, press it again for another 30 seconds, let it cool down completely, and then you can go ahead and remove that clear plastic from the top. So I love the way this turned out, but what really makes this look like it came off of a table in a high-end boutique is this little step here. We're gonna wrap this in some jute twine, just tying a knot. We're gonna apply a little handmade gift tag using some craft paper tied into a bow on top of that. And that is what really makes this gift even more special. I 
I'm so excited to give this next project to my son. Dollar Tree had these burlap bags and you can find these at Walmart too in a pack of three for only about $3 and they're plain. This one has a pattern on it, also has some uh, Velcro and a strap. I'm just gonna remove that strap first, but I really liked the Velcro part, so I'm leaving that on there. We're gonna make a two part or two color design for this. This design you can find within Cricut's design space. I just made his name the same color as the boxes, and then the red design we're gonna cut as well. So you'll need two different colors of heat transfer vinyl for this. Cut them out with your machine and then go ahead and weed those out. With this design, we want our check marks to go on top of the boxes, so I am cutting those check marks out. And we're gonna apply this design, the red design first, and set those check marks aside. We're also gonna cut apart the green because we're gonna apply these in two different locations. So with this, we are going to apply this on the back side where there isn't a design. Heat up your fabric. We're gonna do this one at 305 degrees and going ahead and pressing this for 30 seconds. We'll apply the green next and then those red check marks last. This looks so high-end in custom. You would never know. You only spent a dollar on this bag at the Dollar Tree. And sometimes it's not just the gift that's inside it, but this is something you could use year after year or maybe become something special to the kiddo that you're giving it to. I can't wait to give these gifts to my kiddos and my mom and my family. I would love to know which one of these projects was your favorite. You can let me know down in the comments below. I'll also have supplies I use throughout this tutorial down in the description box, so check that out. I'll have more Christmas inspiration popping up on your screen you can check out next. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me today. I will see you in the next one. Happy crafting!